It's Thanksgiving time here in America, and most are familiar with the first Thanksgiving and the story with the pilgrims and the Indians. Yet most people aren't familiar with the time that came after that. It's become known as starving time. Because what happened that next winter, because of the, difficult they had, the difficulty they had with the crops, the crops failing, their supplies began to dwindle. And it became known as the starving time because their rations were just about gone. Through that next winter, they were down to just a few grains of corn a day. That was their ration. Now, can you imagine a time that that's all you have to eat per day? Some even speculate it was as little as five kernels of corn during this starving time. Now, that next spring, 1623, they were hoping for the best. They planted their crops. They were hoping for, for a good harvest. And yet, initially, there were weeks of drought. So what would you do? Well, they got together and they turned to God. They prayed to God. And the very next day, after getting together and praying to God, it began to rain. And it rained on and off for the next two weeks. The crops were saved. It was later that month that a new ship had come from England with supplies and provisions. And so they were blessed by God. And they accredited God with the blessing for that. So it's an amazing story, the initial thanksgiving, and yet what transpired after that, and their continued faith in God. Now, I think what we can get from that story is this concept of the blessings that God gives us. Can you remember five kernels of corn this thanksgiving? There's an amazing passage in Colossians chapter 3, and in verse 15, here's what it says. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. You see, the pilgrims came together as a group, and they prayed to God, and I believe God heard that prayer and blessed them. So if you think of this story, think of those five kernels of corn, and be thankful. Can you come up with five things that you are especially blessed of God by? Hopefully you'll take the time this Thanksgiving and remember the wonderful blessings of God in just five kernels of corn. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.